What's up, everybody? So, I am recording this late, late, late. And I just, <laughs> I was, I filmed some, some Tiki Talks as well. Well, like, one prepping for a transition and then, excuse me, prepping for another transition and just one for fun. And so I've been recording my growl for the last couple minutes. I don't have a watch on. What I'm doing right now is trying to find my ah. Found it, but I if you don't, I've been literally recording myself growling for the last couple minutes before I turn this on, trying to get a good growl because I've been literally growling all night and they they're really good. But the minute I turn the camera on, my phone on to record it, the they some start off good and then they, they turn crap and then they just some just turn crap so it's like you know you gotta do it a couple of times i also switched to my uh regular camera and just plain recorded to see if i got a good one but i'm gonna give my throat a rest <laughs> but basically basically i gravel like this See, that was a good one. Oh well, I can even gro I can growl any day of the week. So, and yeah, like pretty off topic, but with well. Anyway, I, I know like some, because I've seen like TikToks of people growling and people are just like, yo, that's my shit. And then, you know, it's whatever you, if you don't fuck with the growl, you don't have to. But I thought it would be funny to just growl and basically just put the caption and here's a growl for no reason at all is what I'm going to put in the caption. So maybe I'll growl tomorrow, see if they're better. But on topic, on the note we are doing, I, it's a Zodiac video. Like, come on, you should know by now. And today's Zodiac, which is April's Zodiac, it is, and that is Aries. So, today I'm going to, the reference photo, I just decided, lately I've been doing the full body, but with Aries, I thought I'd just do the face. Would you say Aries is a ram? Because Taurus, Taurus is a bull, which is in May. So, I, I would say Aries are like a ram. Anywho, so we're gonna stick, to, so we're just having the face and hopefully everything goes good. Um, I haven't done my hair yet cause I wanna save it towards the end. You know, some, it's just gonna be pink tails to acknowledge the horns because I don't have horns. So. <laughs> We're gonna get going. Also, uh, yeah, I filmed another gaming episode. I know I still have to edit the second episode. I'm om I'm getting there, and I'm learning from my first episode and my last one that I can't have long intros. So with this third episode, it's not a very long intro and we get straight to the game. So I'm going to try and keep my intros 
short on the gaming videos just because I know everyone wants the game so gonna do the face real quick I haven't I didn't wear makeup at all all day and it felt so good because my skin has been really good it was really good today and yesterday so it's just like I'm just gonna do no makeup at all I'm gonna do this over the towel I don't trust it down the nose a little there Bada bang, bada boom. The reason, I don't know if, if I need to explain myself, but annoyingly, the place where I get, uh, I don't get a lot of acne, but it's still annoying as hell. And the acne I do get is hormonal acne. So like during my period, I usually have like, acne most of the time but it's all a routine you, you just gotta stick to it and I know everybody's skincare is different and what they used I don't know if I mentioned this in a video or not but for my skincare, when I was younger, I used Neutrogena, and I used the, I think it was the Grapefruit Acne Wash, and I used that when I was a kid, and even when I used it when I had acne, it didn't really do much, and then I switched to what I use now is Clean and Clear, and I love it. It it works for me and everybody's skin is different also I don't know if you can call skin an organ organism organ is an organism or not probably is but that's like the biggest organism on our body that we need to take care of because everything wants to get attached to it dirt oils, anything, and it's just like, no. Also, I think, I don't know if it's because of the sun or not, but I usually have pretty, my skin's pretty clear during, like, the summer, summer months, and obviously it has its beautiful moments like this. Also, I have realized that I prefer uh, just wearing concealer and not using foundation. Like, I use concealer most of the time. I don't even... I hardly wear foundation now. Which is kind of funny because... Because when I was a teenager, I first started wearing makeup. I didn't have makeup of my own, so I would always use my mom's, my mother's. So what I did, let's see what the order I went. I did, I did foundation, just foundation for a long time. And then I discovered eyeliner. And so I did foundation and eyeliner. But I also I also discovered mascaras and that's all I wore. <laughs> that's literally all I did. 
through high school. Foundation, eyeliner, mascara. Oh goodness. And now and now look at the the knowledge I have acquired so far. I know what uh, contour that's that's the word. <laughs> I know what current contouring is now. I like to experiment and become things. I think this is just me talking. I don't know if I'm going to actually do it, but I'm thinking like this coming or when Halloween is upon us again, I think I'm going to bring back the Five Nights of Freddy's makeup series I started a long time ago. And start doing the other characters. Because obviously those are the main ones. The main ones are Freddy, Freddy Fazbear, Chica, Bonnie, Foxy. Those are the main ones. But there's also like other, other creature robot things. Also, oh my gosh, I, a long time ago, I still have it saved, I found some history on Five Nights and Freddy's and how that, the game, I don't know if it's the game or whatever came out, but came about, but it, it's interesting. I, I would have to reread it though. But it's like just a little interesting like backstory. So maybe I'll do that do that. If I can talk. Goodness me. Also, I know that I've kind of taken a break from going live, but I will come back. Don't you worry, I will bring lives back. I just have taken a little break from it. And, and obviously I took a break from social media and making videos. And I think I mentioned in a video recently that my grandma passed away and yeah. Yeah, she she lived she lived a long life and a happy life. So she's up there. She's probably she's watching all of us, and she gets to talk with her friends again because my grandma and grandpa were saying that they are literally the last of their, I don't know if it's the last, but maybe they have a friend or two, but left, but they were, they said one time, like, a good majority of their friends have passed, have passed away, and they were just, like, kind of the only ones, and honestly, like, it's just crazy, like, Basically, the age she died on was passed away was 91, and my grandpa's 91. So, I would honestly, I would like to live to 90, but you never know. You never know what life's gonna throw at you, but I would like to live to 90. 90 or past that. 
also, not to keep talking about death, but I don't know if you guys pay attention to the news or whatever or see memes, but the queen's husband, he he di he passed away kind of recently. Like the when I say the queen, I mean the queen of the UK, United Kingdom. And he passed away at 99. Like, he could have been 100. He... Honestly, if I died at 99, like literally one number away from 100, I, I'm, I'm gonna be annoyed at, my, at myself. I'm just gonna be annoyed, because it's like, I was almost 100. What the heck? Let me live. Okay, now we're getting back to the makeup. I just, I just thought I'd just talk with you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there is some of you that are just like, Hannah, shut up. I just came, I just came the make for the makeup. I didn't come for your whole life story. <laughs> but, you know. Life's crazy. Life life is crazy. And it's a ride. It's your theme park. One of my favorite songs is... It's a collaboration song. It's a really old song. It's, it, I'll put it, it uh, either in the description or the name of it in this video. But it's called Forever, and you have Drake, you have Kanye, you have Lil Wayne, and you have Eminem all on the track. It's literally one of my favorite tracks, my favorite songs of all time. Like, it's literally a song on my playlist that I will never skip. Anyway, let's get to this ram, that face that's about to be on my chest. All right, I feel like, all right, let's see. <laughs> Again, I don't waste anything, but yeah, this is getting really small. Look at that, look at that shit. All right, let's, I want to do the face. I'm doing the face. I want what I mean to mean. What I mean to say is, I want to do the middle half of his face and do his like horns last. That's what I mean to say. God dang it. Okay. <laughs> Wanna get it right, searching for meaning in this cold angel town I'll be the warmth in your empty hotel I'll make it right when you're going through hell I'll be the call when there's no one to tell Make it light up, light up
what I'm doing but it doesn't work right so I think I'm just gonna do I'm not gonna do 3d eyes because he just looks weird that way and that's what I have discovered and then I have to draw his horns eyes 3d because I looked weird but yeah he, he's a little off kilter but I'm not too worried about it all I know is that I'm happy that I did it he looks cool besides the fact he's a little off you know besides the fact he's not straight I was kind of hoping that he'd be straight but I'm taking it I'm taking it as a success. I am just 
because I didn't need you. I grabbed my other one in case the little one was going to be done. But clearly this little guy wants to be kept around. Alright. So today, like always, we're going to move to the face and then move back down here. Always, I'm not going to color these guys in because obviously uh, the galaxy is going to be behind them and around them and they're going to be the thing standing out. Also, I wore this, this little bra let thing that I always wear. I wore it today all day to remind myself like I gotta, I gotta film a zodiac sign before I can't. So, that's what I did, and what I realized is, this doesn't stay put for a long time. Literally, my boobs were coming out, and then I got home, and I was, like, building something. I was, I was being Bob the Builder and making, uh, putting together these little shoe rack things to fit underneath my bed. Because you got to stay organized somehow. But I was building them and my my boobs kept co coming out. So literally the, this is not built for a lot of movement is what I discovered. So... Also, looking up Aries, I didn't know what color to do for Aries, so I looked it up, and basically their main color is red. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to make eyes red with, obviously, a smoky eye with the black. And maybe something cool with eyeliner. I don't know yet. Excuse me. I drank a lot of water to soothe my throat and to get some good growls. Yoink. Yoink. Also, just to say, like, getting back to the skin clear stuff and whatnot, I have sensitive skin, and I experiment with masks a lot. Like, face masks. Alright, gotta put my potion on. So we're gonna do red. Ready, red, red. And we're going into Blood Lust by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And it is Bleeding Heart is the red we're going to be using today. Also, I would like to send out some love to Jeffree Star and his friend, and I hope, I hope for a recovery for both of them and everything. And if you don't know, or if you don't follow Jeffree Star or anyone like that, him and his best friend, I would say, They've known each other the longest, and they've been through a lot together. And they they were in in his ho house in Wyoming, and they hit black ice, and they spun out, and their car flipped. And they're both going to make a recovery, a full recovery, but for now, they are hurt. Like Jeffrey, his spine, spine, 
something with his spinal cord. Uh, so he has to wear a brace and his friend has internal injuries and I just hope for a full recovery for both of them and everything will turn out. So I just want to say I sent to send love their way and everything. So. Because just the touch on things, like, that's just scary. Getting it, getting in any car accident or any accident at all is just scary. Like, uh, back, back in high school, my sister's friend would, you know, drive us to school and drive us home for a few, like, that was our thing, and... On the way back, we got held up uh, on her, on, on the bridge to the school. So we were leaving and there was a line and basically the van that they had was bulky. So we flew forward, but I was, I was lucky enough to have my seatbelt on and I'm glad I did. But unfortunately, her little brother did not have his seatbelt on, and he flew forward, and he hit his face in the back of the, obviously, the driver's chair. And he got a bloody nose, and just automatically, I grabbed, like, a towel or a blanket that was on the floor, and I gave it to him for his bloody nose. But we were in, we were in the middle, by the way. And we had a car in front of us and a car in back back of us, and it was it was scary. So long story short, I ca I had an experience in a car accident, and luckily nobody was hurt, but there was a I don't remember if it was one car or both cars. I think it was just one of them, and it was the car in front of us, and. Their car was like banged up, but banged up. So yeah, just there's sparkly stuff, there's sparkle on my pants. But send love, and everyone has their own experiences, and some experiences are scary and. That's all I have to say, so. We're gonna apply bleeding heart to our eyes. Our eyes. <laughs>
feel like you're nothing, but you wanna be something. Yeah. Well, all you really need is hope. I just want you to trust me if you wanna be something. Yeah. That's right. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. You really when you're feeling down and you're out, like you got nothing but doubt. I don't know why I'm whispering. Hey. Get out of the way here. Hey, what's news? Gotta do that smoky, smoky eye. Do 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 do. I'm gonna be covered in freckles by the end of this, and that's okay. I don't mind. Do do do. Do 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 do. do. Hair, your nat fail face. Ooh, that's cool. That looks cool so far. This black that is called Executioner in the Bloodlust palette has purple uh, sparkles in it, sparkles glitter in it, so it's a possibility. All my, these pants are going to be covered in black and sparkles. Also, I don't know if you guys had a, a really specific, like, art teacher or whatever that made you use a specific word, but I have twice. So, in elementary school, one time in fifth grade, I said the word weird, and literally my teacher was like, it's not weird, it's different. Like, he did not like the term weird. And then, my art teacher in elementary class, she didn't like us saying the word purple she was like it's not purple it's violet honey that's purple they even have it on crayons saying it's purple i think right am i right or wrong i probably just embarrassed myself right there but you know so that was interesting That's what I had to go through. Also, speaking on that subject, I don't know if I mentioned this in a video yet, but I, but my math, I had a math teacher. He did sixth grade, and there was this one day where we played the game Skunk. You know, it's like with num with math numbers, mathematics. I don't remember how you do it, but. So you would go up in a line for him to check your work and if you got it, you, you were fine. And literally, he did this to my sister too, who was older than me. I don't know if he did it to everybody, but basically you would hand him your work and then he would... I have blue on my hand for some reason. Any, anyway... He would take your hand and he would he would take your work and then he would grab your hand and he like like shake your hand and he would literally squeeze he would literally squeeze your hand to death 
and then he would like move it's hard to demonstrate on myself but he would squeeze your hand really really hard and then he would like move your knuckle one of your knuckles around that hurt so bad I can't even tell you it was such excruciating pain like literally when he was doing that I was just like deep inside like just ow screaming ow in my head and then when he turned his back to like look actually look at my work I literally turned around to the person next to me and I was b person behind me and I was like ow that hurt and literally I turned back around before he did and I grabbed my work and then I sat back down and I'm like ow <laughs> and I don't I think I told my friends what he did but also recess same teacher you know what underdogs are you know like one person sitting on the swing and then you just grab the swing and then you just go underneath and like like basically chuck them in the air he was really good at those to the point where like so you'll be sitting on the chair on the swing or whatever holding on and he would just grab the chair gra grab the grab the seat and go yeet so hard not only were you probably close to touching a tree because there was a forest literally behind you behind the swing set and he would just he would just go for it he would literally do it so hard that the whole the whole swing set the whole thing shook and I don't mean a little, I mean like to the point where where a lot of people could hear it. It was just like, I mean you were excited, but at the same time you were like, I hope I don't fly off this thing. I don't know if you guys ever had a teacher like that, but that was kind of my childhood. Also... Hold on, let me get back to what this video is it's supposed to be about. So when I was younger, this is basically story time slash makeup, Zodiac makeup. When I was younger, I, sorry, that shadow made me think I had like a bruise or something. But when I was younger, me and my friend, I know we, I know I did it twice with me and my friend, and I think I did a third time with, with like, someone else, or maybe it was the same year. Anyway, we had this teacher, elementary again, and this teacher... Basically, he did this, like, religious retreat during the winter, and basically, you would have the girls and the guys, I think, were separated one year, or both years. Like, they had a separate room, and we stayed in this church, and everyone would stay up until midnight at this church and basically you would just learn about religion and Jesus and all that and then you were free to do whatever you want until like midnight and there were like levels to this church like there was there was like a downstairs there was like the regular area I still kind of picture it, but also, you know, and he would always tell this same story. I don't remember how many times I went with this retreat, 
But one year, you had an option, though. You had an option to either stay in a room, stay in the rooms we slept in, everyone in a group, and you would, so you had the option to either stay in the room and not hear the scary story, and then you had an option to go with everybody else and hear a scary story. And basically, the story he would always tell, he would bring us to to a basement. That's what it looked like to me. Or like, basically a long hallway with like, rooms, like offices. And he'd bring you into that hallway. And everyone was, it was a group of people. So, you weren't alone with him, but he, he basically told this story of a janitor that worked there and he went into this room. I don't remember the full story exactly because it's been years, but this janitor was like doing his normal thing and he goes to replace a light or something because the light was flickering or something like that he had to touch a light and he or something he he like got electrocuted or he hung himself some something of that nature and then so you so after the story was done you're scared and then he would go, because the door where the guy died was would be right behind you in that hallway. So everyone would then get up, including him, and he'd go knock on the door, and then everyone would just scream and run down the hallway. And he told that every time. So, but this is where it gets interesting. The first year I went, so everyone is in bed. Every some people are looking at their phones. Some people are starting to fall asleep or even are asleep. And there was a there was a door on the far end, like that way. And a girl was on her phone, playing with her phone, and I guess she saw, like, through her phone, or she took a picture, because that door had a window. And basically, she captured a face that was looking through that window, and everyone was like you know, even more scared, and I think he and a, he went to look around or something, so that was one year, the second year or so, every, everything happened the same way, it was very routine, and again, I went here with one of my friends, and Yeah, so the next year, same friend, we went, um, before he told the story, there was a point in, in the night of the second year where me and her, nobody was around, and me and her were just stuck in the basement kind of area. It had like a, a downstairs area. And we were in the basketball court. Like, literally, there was, like, a basketball court in this place. And we were, like, picking up something. And then we kind of, like, hear a basketball jump. And we're also staring at the other double doors at the end. And then suddenly we felt scared, so we left and found everybody else. Nothing happened, really. It was just... We got the spooks and left. 
because we didn't want to be alone down there. And so we found everybody else. He tells that same story. He knocks on that door and everybody starts running. And during the night, you know, we're in sleeping bags. You're sleeping on the floor, by the way. And me, I, it depends how tired I am. Because I can be a deep sleeper or I can be like a light sleeper. And this night, I, f I was a light sleeper. And so I woke up. And so I woke up. A little bit because I was like because I I don't know if I felt a presence or whatever but I just felt kind of like waking up or whatever out of a sleep or like move position or something like that and I woke up and I saw this figure sitting on a stool just in front of me looking around and it even looked at me and that fucking terrified me because I'm like what the fuck I was even I was even yelling my friend's name like so and so so and so and so and so because I was so scared because I what the fuck is this looking at me and why is it there you know I was terrified and then in the morning you know, some some popular girl in my grade comes up to me and she's just like, Did you get a little scared last night? It's like, fuck you. Because literally my friend told me in the morning that apparently he basically watches us sleep. And to me, that's creepy as fuck. It's still creepy to me. But basically, I would... He he was sitting on a stool watching everybody. And also that same that same year, that second year. So the first year that girl captured a face on her phone. Literally the second year there was like, you know how walls have that like divider that you can like pull out to cut an area off. Yeah, that part of the room was cut off. Like, no one could go back there. And that was just... That was terrifying. Literally, I thought about that the rest of the time. Like, why? I thought that strange. Like, why is he just watching... Students. These were students, by the way. They were from school. School and people's friends. And it was a mix of ages. It was literally our age, like sixth graders and older, older people. It was definitely experience I will remember. But yeah, that terrified the fuck out of me when I woke up and I saw a figure sitting on a stool in front of my eyes. Like, I'm sure you would freak out too if you saw that. Because it's like, well, I'm sorry. I'm not used to, you know, having people watch me sleep. But yeah, that... <laughs> Literally, I w that's what I wanted to say. I said that in my head, but that's what I wanted to say that, to that popular girl. It's just, fuck you. <laughs> because one, yeah. Again, I already pointed that out. That's just creepy as hell. So... That's my story time. Back to makeup and we're gonna clean it up. Oh. 
Oh, I think I need more concealer on that. And the thing is, my friend invited me th invited me to these things. But yeah. Scary, scary, scary. Yeah, so not only did I have to hear a creepy story about some janitor who died there, I got to be spooked by by an actual person. I also remember obviously I'm with my friends like going over to us like I remember this one time with my friends I never went alone we went over and Watched Veggie Tales in his basement. I don't even know. It was that part of my life was definitely interesting. I'll tell you that. Oh, so, I just thought of another story time. So, I don't know if, I mean, I think, I think it's average, but I don't know. Or maybe I'm an early bloomer or average. I don't know. But I, I got my boobs in sixth grade. And so one day... I'm just, I was one of those people who ran down the hall, so. Literally, I would wait and t I would walk whenever I saw a teacher, and then I would just run down the hall. So I was running down the hall, and this other girl that was in my grade, she was, like, looking for something in her locker or cleaning it out or something. I forget what she was, what she told me. And I had to run to get to my locker to grab something. And I went to open my locker and she, and she goes, <laughs> again, I was getting my boobs at sixth grade. Please tell me if that's average or I'm just an early bloomer or something. Anyway, <laughs> she, she, she had no boobs at all. I'm going to put this down a second. She had no boobs at all, keep in mind. So she, she literally said to me, she put her hands on her chest where boobs would be, and she goes, Hannah, these were jiggling. <laughs> and I look at her, I just give her like a look like, okay. <laughs> so, there's that. So you can you can say I've had a interesting I've met some interesting people and have had some experiences. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. 
let's put some that's broke I want to do something cool with the eyeliner, but I don't know if it's gonna. I think I need to go underneath that eye one more time. Just one more time, so they're similar. I'm singing to fill the silence. That's a bit better. <laughs> I'm singing in a star. <laughs> I thought of Elf. <laughs> yep. Okay. So we're to the point of eyeliner and mascara, but I think I'm gonna do the eyeshadow and get all that taken care of on my chest and then do that after. Sounds good? Good, because that's what we're doing. Don't know why I'm putting that away. Still need it. So I think I'm going to do red first. But yeah, I hope you guys don't mind that I drop like some story times and stuff so you can get to know me better. Hope you don't mind that. I think I'm gonna do red all around the sky.
met the other night But I can't get you off my mind Not a smooth talker, under pressure Sweaty palms ain't making it much better Something about you feels so special Pretty young from the minute that I met ya And it's cool because the black has sparkles in it, so it kind of looks sparkly. Alright, now we're going to do the stars. And that is white body paint, and you make these. You're basically drawing crosses, but they will look like stars. And you can put these anywhere you want. And they can be big, they can be small, they can be medium. Ah. 
that's not where my body pain is. All right, so everything is mostly done. I just need to do some eyeliner and put on some lipstick, which is going to be Velvet Trap by Jeffree Star's Cosmetics, Pure Hail. So eyeliner, lips, and basically I'll be back with the final look. So I will see you in a minute because YouTube time is wonderful. And also I'm probably going to put in different earrings. Maybe. We'll see. All right. I'll be back. Here's the final product. Yes. Literally, I was just going to do pink tails, and then I'm like, why don't I put a red headband in as well? And the ponytails um, are black ponies. Uh, they're not this. There's not the same amount of hair in the ponytails, but. You probably wouldn't have noticed if I didn't point that out. Also, I decided to keep these in because I feel like it's a little classy, you know? Yeah. Also, I did something new with my lips. So I did Pure Hell, and then I used one of my red Next lipsticks, and I put a line in the middle. I thought that would be a cool touch, and it did. I'm really feeling this hair, hairstyle. But this is the final look for ear. So this is the final look for Aries, and I'm so I hope you guys enjoyed it because I sure did. There wasn't very many mistakes. I know I took out the wipes a little bit, but mostly those mistakes were with the eyes and a little, I just wanted to get a little piece off of the, when I drew this ear, there was a little bit that was overhanging and I got rid of it. But yeah, I'm really feeling this. I feel pretty badass right now. I'm feeling myself. <laughs> but I'm so happy you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, because I sure did. I love making looks and just turning myself into things and just having fun, so that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, evening, night, or whenever you're watching this. And... You are all beautiful, you're all gorgeous, you're all motherfucking talented, and I will see you, and I will see you all soon.